do you manufacture complex, highly configurable products with selectable features and options? Visual's product configurator can guide users through the selection of those available features and options, dimensions, all while ensuring that they define a valid product. This will reduce the effort to create estimates and orders. Let's look at, um, at a simple example of creating an estimate with Visual using the configurator. Here we are in Visual's estimating window, and instead of filling out what the item and quantity is and such, I'm simply going to specify that I'm that for this order or for this quote on this line, I'm going to create a new configuration. That takes me to the configurator and shows me some available products. Starting with what type of product? Well, in this example, I'm a, a furniture manufacturer. I make custom furniture of certain types. Each of these different types would have different choices, different features, different options that I might be making. In this case, we'll stick to a table. Well, I have um, two types or series of tables, round tables and rectangular tables. We'll go with a rectangular table. Now we see the current configuration, the way that it stands um, with the default choices made. And those default choices are listed right here. I've got a wood type, a length and width of table, and uh, different types of finishes. Those are my simple selections. Well, based on these, um, this most common configuration, I can set those to default to those common configurations. Here I'm seeing the details of that con current configuration. So right now, I need an oak tabletop. I, I need oak legs. I need six of those. I need the hardware, hardware kits to attach those six legs. So I need materials, but I also need to take some steps in the manufacturing process. I need to cut that tabletop to size. I also need to assemble those legs onto the tabletop. So that's my current configuration. If we look here at the available categories, the, those that are showing in black have not yet been chosen or are not chosen for this particular configuration. So because it's unfinished, I have no painting, staining, sanding, except that finished sanding. So let's go look at making choices. Uh, those choices can be made using a selection from a drop-down or from a list of, of possibilities. We'll go ahead and choose um, choose maple. Before I do that, I want to draw your attention down here to the price. The price of that oak table is $764, so this is helping me to determine the, the proper price as well. Let's switch to maple. And now not only did the price change, but so did the, the materials needed. Now I have maple tabletops and legs. Let's uh, make this a much longer table, 120 inches. When I do that, the configurator can tell me about warnings, errors, etc. Well, in this case, this is an error. We don't make them that big. We only go up to 96 inches. So until I fix those errors, which I can jump in here and get an explanation for, understand those rules and things that were sending me that error. Um, until I fix that, I'm going to have this um, showing to me in red until I, until I make a valid selection there. Let's uh, decide that we want a much shorter table. Maybe we'll get two 60-inch tables. When I do that, not only, of course, did the price change because I need less wood, but um, also the number of legs changed down to four. The table's not so long. The configurator can, uh, can be set so that it can automatically make choices in things like quantity, make automatic choices for materials. It can eliminate future features and options because of choices that I've made. It can have dependencies, so dependencies and exclusions uh, can be also programmed in to how the configurator is pulling things together. So now we only need four legs. Our table is um, maple, and uh, here's our current price. But let's go take this beautiful maple table and do something terrible to it, like paint it, paint it blue. 
when I do that, it adds in those, those, um, those categories of painting and finishing, adds to our list here of what's required, including the cost associated with those. The configurator being not only rule, have, being able to have rules built into it, it also um, has a parametric engine. So, so it can do things like, well, based on the tabletop size, that means that I'm going to need a certain amount of time with the cutoff saw. I'm going to need a certain amount of paint and time for painting that surface area and sanding that surface area so it can make those choices. This information will get pat passed back to visual. So when I get this order, it will be a valid configuration that I can then manufacture. So let's go ahead and take that step and, and um, specify that well, this, is what, this is the way this configuration it looks, and I'm going to save that. Now, when I do that, that information comes right back here into, uh, into our estimate. For those of you that are familiar with visual, this also has interpreted that configuration into the, um, the quote master. Let's go take a look at the quote master. So that configuration information has been, has again been interpreted here where I can see that this is a maple table, um, that it needs four legs and it needs um, the hardware that's associated, that hardware kit will, is for four pieces. It has passed information onto the um, operation folders, things like here's how big you need to cut this and, and more. So information is moving from the configurator into the quote master. If I win this order, um, I, I can, without needing to change anything in that, in that configurator, I now have something that I can manufacture. I have a valid configuration. We'll come out of there. Now let's do one or two more things. Let's say the customer changes their mind. They don't want that table to be blue. Well, rather than starting from scratch, I can come in and simply edit that configuration. My choices are remembered. I make the appropriate changes here. We'll change it to green, for example, uh, which may or may not affect my price. We'll save that information, which updates not only the quote, updates the quote master and has that, that configuration ready again. Drilling in, we can see that that quote, quote master is also updated to green and, um, and we're ready to go. So if we win this order, we'll convert it to, um, to a customer order and the work order to build this. So the product configurator is there to guide your, your um, sales folks those who are doing estimate made, uh, estimates and quotes, guide them to a valid product selection uh, and a valid product configuration. It helps those users understand the available features and options that they can choose from. It will eliminate certain features and options based on previous choices. So it has dependencies and exclusions based on, um, based on choices that I've, that I've made and um, this will help to accurately price those configurations. And, and once again, makes it much more efficient and reduces the effort to create those estimates for those, those highly configurable products that you manufacture. Thanks for watching.